You could definitely oh, have really that in. More. That should definitely be in, in the video. <laughs> Just to give you guys an idea of what I'm going through, this is the traffic that I'm going through to get Nick. I love you, Nick. All right, so we just made it to Warren's studio. Let's check it out. Did you meet Mel yet? I didn't. In the scenes vlogger. Video oh, okay, good. Out. So can you tell me about uh, your setup? So basically, yeah. what's typical for us? I mean, it's one of those kind of like stupid kind of dream setup things where you have unbelievably expensive gear just doing one thing. I think working hybrid okay. is is a little bit like working with a template. Oh, okay. Because if you think about it, this is kind of my template. Because you know, this insert's on, this kick EQ is like a place to start with. I mean, there's this really 7 dB of mm -hmm. 60 hertz. So you're not really like switching this stuff out. Your drums are mic'd up and all of that. Yeah. I'm this is your bass point, and then you kind of like do surgical stuff in the box. Yeah, exactly. It's really cool digging into his head. You don't see a lot of people doing the outboard, inboard stuff, or outboard in the box stuff, at least at our level. We're getting set up. It's going to be a fun nail to mix. Really into it. Alright, so we are halfway through setup right now. We've got the cameras set up. We're going to run a cool dual hybrid outboard and in the box setup. Lighting's all nice. Joey's stoked. You guys are cute girls. So thumbs up if you're stoked as Joey as the host this month. What's that? See how they are together. Now that is a lot of data. It's like on that Casey Neistat level. That's right. Ryan right. Mel. Hey, Hi. I've spoken to you. Indeed. <laughs> hey, how are you? Ryan does all you? of our graphics. Black. 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 And I'm just hanging out here with Ryan. So he makes content for you guys. This month on Neil the Mix, we've got something very, 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 very cool for you guys. I do something. excited about it. I hope you're actually developing content for like that. three years. Uh, oh, that's it. Cool. Okay. Cool. Have you? If you're not sure what the proper link is, I'm not. I haven't done too much. Al or anybody can get the proper link. <laughs> I think we're so worried as as husbands to do the wrong thing that we do the wrong thing all the yeah. time. Yeah. No. The we're so terrified of doing the wrong thing that we continue. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Yeah. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Hey, Eric. You could definitely oh, have that. In, that should definitely be in in the video. <laughs> I love Indiana. No, I did, I did tons of work there. I mean, it was the most inconspicuous. I mean, it was just a garage, you know, in an alley. And my friend, my, my friend owned it. So it wasn't even yeah. mine. I didn't live, I, I like slept on the couch. I would wake up, you know, this was my bed and then this was my work. So it was just like, <laughs> that was my life for like, a, I don't know, five years or something. Yeah. You know, like all the like scent work on it. Yeah. And the kind of like resampling and stuff. How, how did you approach that? I mean, the the brass tacks of it is sit there for days, going through sounds until I'm like, that sounds kind of cool. Then going down a, a rabbit hole with that sound for another day, and then being like, nope, and deleting it all, and then starting over. How does that? That's how familiar does yeah. that process sound? <laughs> a little too familiar. And a lot of honestly, I like to do a lot of stuff manually. You know, maybe we record a guitar part. And there's there's like a mess up. I'll like take the mess up and turn it into a sound guy, effect. And we'd have to sort Check of out like our sick video on guitar glitch editing. Great. How's it going, Joey? Good. It is currently 1:30, and I'm starving. And we're in the mountains, and we're uh, setting up for Nail the Mix. It's gonna be cool. We got two sessions in two days, something we've never done before. But uh, 
it, it's, it's gonna like be cool. I believe in us. Red. I believe in me right. oh, and you and yeah, yeah, everyone. I believe in you. <laughs> Thanks, Shari. It means a lot. <laughs> yeah, and while we're, we're doing the mix, I'll talk about like how really the SSL becomes sort of part of a template. Oh, okay. It's very similar to like mixing in the box where you have a template. It's really because I'm doing hybrid stuff, but ultimately that doesn't change as much as I would with plugins. Plugins I get crazy on. That is just like kind of my big you know, summing amp mm. that has more detail. Because when I went to like recording school and stuff, a lot of people like were very like gentle with outboard gear. <coughs> the sound of an SSL is insane amounts of EQ boost going into compression. That is pa, pa, pa. That's oh, how you okay. get, that is the sound of an SSL. Yeah, so if and, you're uh, being all gentle with it, don't even bother using it. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to know there's a problem. I just want to know when it's fixed. <laughs> it's an ache for you. It, and figure out all that stuff. We gotta sit here. Gonna sit there, please. Broadcasting out into the, the naked world, you yeah. know. But what you take with all these tools and with all this knowledge and like what you actually do with it, like what you create with it, is a completely vast landscape. And so the only way, the only way possible, to show that, to teach that, is to literally shine a light on everyone that's doing it. Yeah. And that's exactly why Nail the Mix is what it is. It's like, I could sit here and do 12 episodes in a row, and you're gonna learn a lot of stuff, but you won't learn as much as if you could watch 12 different guys sure. do it. And that's, I think what we're trying to do there is just build a big community of people who actually care about passing the torch to the next generation, because we're not gonna be here forever. We're not gonna be able to be the top mixing engineers for our entire lifetime. And I came up at a time, and you did as well, where there was like six people mixing every record. Yeah. And it was like, no, it, it, and everything just sounded and the, you know what the same. Every record sounded the same. Yeah, that's what happens when you only have six people controlling everything, is yeah. that it gets stale. Got really you stale. You gotta get someone to come in and mix things up a bit. <laughs> mix yeah. things up. That's right. Well, so the weirdest thing is, is that they make it. How'd right. setup go, Nick? Yeah. I had two, Good. I, had, uh, I got oh. all the two. We're done. Thank you so much for everything. Yeah. This is Thank you. Be great. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you guys need? It's going to be lots of fun. It's been a lot of fun getting set up. Thank you for doing a professional job. My number, or so if you guys need anything like okay, tech-wise, if anything goes wrong, whatever, just let me know. All right. See Thank you, later. you so much. Thanks very much. Good, Good to meet you. All right, so we just wrapped up with Warren. We had a good setup. Yeah, then man. One of the guys still doing SSL stuff, hybrid setups, it's pretty cool. How often do we have like hybrid mixers on the Nail the Mix? Honestly, I think we've only had one. It's been pretty recent though. We've had more, had Paul, more analog. Paul, Paul Levitt did a hybrid. I feel like anyone that's been to analog has done a little bit of plug-in stuff, but they, like Bergstein really focused on analog, but would use like EQs like in Pro Tools for like shaping, I think. I know his whole setup was more or less interesting to me just because I feel like I don't see that world and I don't see that a lot in like YouTube, especially in this application. So yeah. I'm kind of I mean, stuck for the mix in that vibe, light. You know? It's all about creating not just a vibe like an atmosphere, but an, an actual audible vibe, like a sonic fingerprint that's different than everything else. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of people in this industry that are striving for that because they want to be original. They want something that makes them uniquely identifiable because now when you level the playing field, you have everybody using the same plugins. If I move my plugin knobs the same as you move your plugin knobs, we now, you know, now we sound the same because you're using the same plugin as me. Mm -hmm. But if you're using a mixing board that's been spilled beer on it once and you know, I don't know. It's got its character. It's got character. It's got, a, <laughs> you know, it's been through some stuff. <laughs> yeah. Certain brand of cigarettes do certain kind of, <laughs> you know, coloring. <laughs> <laughs> So we just got back to the Airbnb. Hi. Mr. Wolanski is going to hang out with us. So Nick What's is attempting to email and vlog me. <laughs> as I vlog all the time. So Finn. I'm Mel, I'm vlogging. So Finn, if Hi, you see this man? content and it's vlogging. bad, you know whose Hi, fault it is. The Sturge just changed his shirt. You're Bye. Gonna, you're gonna, you're I'm going to get food. I'll miss you. Bye.
Any first thoughts? Mm, I have some second thoughts, but not any first ones yet. All right, so what's your take on pineapple on pizza, Joey? All right, so it's day two, and we are headed down to Warren's studio. Numeral deuce. Num numeral deuce. Deuce. It's dose, isn't it? It's dose. D dose. That's dose. dose. Not deuce. Like the Ekkies. Yes. <laughs> hey, Joe, you stoked about being host? Ah! That's a yes. I used to vlog in 2006, so go check that sh over here. Just... Oh God. Now we're linking to it. Yeah. <laughs> Today we're doing things and it's gonna be great. Hello there, Not sir. Not much, yo. What is up? Fix it in post. I gotta sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> any first thoughts? Mm, I have some second thoughts, but not any first ones yet. So does he mix on these? Like so like he'll like be here and then turn over here yeah. and then like check and then like yeah. do so. That's pretty yeah. cool. Although he's, I think he's gotten it down to most of the time he can just kind of stay there and just off of his left ear. And coffee ah, is being I told you I had to sneeze. I didn't introduce him yesterday because he was quite busy helping Nick. So what is your official title? I am Warren's engineer oh. and studio manager. Yes, sir. In one sentence, how is it? working for Warren. Save me. We're doing prep for today because today is stream day. How the devil is everybody? So who are you texting, Joey? Uh, Tyler Smith from Daniel Kids. Yeah, just you heard it first. Tyler, the Tyler Smith is on his way here to do a second Nail the mitt back to back. Bless him. Hope he doesn't fall. <laughs> Joey's so done. <laughs> the question is like, I didn't even thought about being nervous. I'm like, wait, am I nervous? Off to Joey in five, four, three, two. Hey everyone, welcome to Nail the Mix. I'm your host, Joey Sturgis. How are you feeling, Warren? I'm good. We are in Warren's amazing studio out here in Los Angeles. And we're All right, so what's your take on pineapple on pizza, Joey? Uh, it's terrible. Yeah. Not good, doesn't taste good, doesn't belong there whatsoever. The only thing that belongs on pizza is meat. I lots was gonna of, stay out of this, of but you're cheese. wrong. I'm not wrong. You're wrong. No, pineapple's terrible. Pineapple is phenomenal. Since we are on the topic of lunch, there's a poll going on on this vlog. Mm -hmm. Pineapple on pizza or no? Um, if you're in Hawaii, yes. Other than that, no. Pineapple on pizza is the best. So we are split down the middle here. <laughs> what you doing? What is up? I am importing our template for vocal effects. <laughs> So I know from the footage it's very telling, but what do you think is the most unique part of your studio? It's not really necessarily unique, but that was what we were striving for when having a studio and building a studio was to make a place. You can just make an album from start to finish it. Um, these days, the budgets are not what they were. So there is no real budget to go and camp out in a studio for a month or two that costs fifteen hundred or two thousand dollars a day. You know, so you that would completely all destroy all your uh, uh, your budget. Your so mm -hmm. you yeah, need these kind of environments yeah, now. I don't know. One of my favorite records. I talk about it all the time. So those of you that follow me, I'm sorry. Raw. So we're at the final wind. Nick, I'm just trying to do my job here. Are you filming here? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? So I'm just trying to, just trying to do my job. Mm, Thank you very look much. at those vocals print. Check that out. He's bouncing those stems like a post-hardcore kid bounces at a show. Pineapple for, does for go on pizza. Yes, uh, pineapple on pizza. Why are you doing? A 
edgy effect that's going da 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 like Thanks for joining us, guys, and we'll catch you. Thank next you. Time. Marvelous. Thanks, Joey. Clear. Yay! That was great. Didn't get through the whole song, but that's not what Mint Nail the Mix is about. It's about learning about mixing. I think oftentimes we don't get through the whole song, but you know, it's we're still teaching all the core concepts of of different ways of approaching the mix. All right, so we just wrapped up with Warren's Nail the Mix, and we're about to get set up for Tyler. Let's see what Tyler's up to. He just showed up. Hey, good to see you. How you been? Bringing in. I know everyone's working hard. Hi, Mel. How are you? Good. You get older, and you realize. It's all about building relationships with people and mm -hmm. you work with the people you like more so even than the people who are talented because there are yeah. so many talented people in this town. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, yeah. But there's so many people that have no way how to have, have proper relationships with each other and all, I can't get hired. And it's like, I don't know, try not being in a... Move this over so okay. I think you're going to be centered between the speakers. Okay. And then we'll, uh, we'll get that going. Perfect. Sounds good. Another left-handed mixer. Machine was very left-handed. Oh, I'm extremely left-handed. Hey, Machine, if you're watching this, you have a fellow lefty coming into the Nail the Mix. We got two back-to-back -back Nail the Mixers left. Are you an, a proponent or opponent of pineapple on pizza? Um, I'm not a big fan. Yeah, but, Tyler's on my team. But, I'll try anything zero times because I don't want pineapple on pizza. I don't oh. like pineapple on pizza. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about your That's setup you brought here today. Um, so I, I fly everywhere with this. Sorry, this is my is SSL board. <laughs> it's uh, I mean, it's one of a kind. No. And it's gates, so basically just go to me. This is the actual yeah, project. This is the yep. one of the actual um, projects. There's four. Can we So we got Tyler's session up and running. He's just getting the mix prep. So what's the first thing you do when you load up a session? Um, a blank session? First I put it all the way that I like it. Like I like to have my master fader on, on the right. In, in over here, out over here. I like having a separate floating mix console because on a small screen like this, I like to be able to tab over and get like a good view. Um, yeah, I think just like managing your project is like super key. Just getting organized and getting the Organization, photo. especially right off the start, especially if you're mixing and someone hands you a bunch of files. Like right off the bat, you've got a full session. You need to get it under control. All right, so that wraps up day two. And tomorrow we're doing Tyler's Nail the Mix. See you tomorrow. So it's day three, and it's another stream day. Woo, what's up, Smith? Bye. All right, so we're here at Warren Studio with our double header, back to back, nail the mix. Cue the montage. We got Tyler Smith double hatting today. Oh, yeah. This is how I always wear hats. You ready to nail the mix today? I'm ready to nail the mix. I'm going to power through it. All right, and I'm gonna show them that I can mix. Live to Joey in four, three, two. Hey everyone, welcome to Nail the Mix. We are mixing Bless the Fall with my lovely friend here, Tyler Smith. How's it going, y'all? How's the stream going, Mr. Fresh pot! <laughs> Fresh pot of coffee! Um, stream is going good. We just talked about the track. Since Tyler actually produced this song, there's some caveats that come with that when you're a mixing engineer. So, covered some of that stuff. But yeah, he's going in uh, Cubase. It's been a while since we've had Cubase on the show, I think. Tyler's feeling good. I feel nauseous. I gotta go outside. Relax! <laughs> Everyone relax! Relax, it'll be fine! <laughs> okay, we're going live in 99! 90. It's cute, guys. Two, three. That's good.
I've been doing this to Joey. <laughs> like, all week. My wife's trying to make me healthier. That you see. Because, like, the drums, honestly, I, I really took a page out of your book, and they actually have pretty minimal processing on them. So when you guys wanted Joey to do it, so we're having Joey and Tyler do it. This is the last vlog. But if you're not going to the summit, you're missing out. Why, right, Tyler? That's right, be there! And the people who don't go to the summit are basically just going to miss out on everything that is going to transpire over the year of 2019. Any more aggression, Joey? Fast. How, how's it going? Uh, it's going good so far. I think we got one, maybe one more session left. I'm going to try to wrap up everything in the last. I'm going to move quick. Yeah, people can make things sound good, but nobody can replace your work ethic. No one can replace your attitude. If you can just, yeah, adopt that mindset, I really think you can, you can do anything. I mean, no one's going to stop you. That's so awesome, man. Thank you guys, uh, most importantly, for being members of Unstoppable Recording Machine, and we'll see you next time. See you guys. Thank you. Clear. Cool. Yay, we did it. <laughs> it didn't autoplay Joel's commercial, so it's stuck on that face. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we just wrapped up the nail the mix with Tyler. Pretty stoked. Or tearing down. I'm about to help out Nick. Joe, you have a good time? Tearing down, going to Flavor Town. In the kitchen with the chef, cooking up the sauce. You heard it here. If you want the best sauce, go to nailthemix.com. Right. Production sauce. Production sauce. I'm not I'm very hungry. I said production sauce because I'm hungry, Joey. Feed me, Joey. You don't get any food until you finish the video. How was your time on Nail the Mix? Dude, super good. Any tips for any aspiring assistant uh, well, engineers or engineers to work under a bigger producer? Uh, make good coffee. Do you want a legitimate tip? Yeah, just be a yes man. Get it done. Get it done right. Thank you so much, Warren, for Oh, no, thank you. Thanks for taking the photos and stuff. All right, so we just wrapped up today's Nail in the Mix with Tyler. Yesterday we had Warren. It's been a long weekend, but we're all wrapped up. Nick's all packed up, good to go. We'll see you next time.